Hey, you lovely people out there. Good morning. Welcome to Ram's Kitchen. What are we making today, Dad? We're making uh, peas and rice. Oh, wow. That's my with, favorite. With uh, jerk chicken. Oh, my God. And Even I have these, some uh, seasoned chicken I did oh, last wow. night with those all of those uh, seasoning there. Roasted garlic, uh, paprika, garlic powder, garlic salt. White pepper, Cajun spice, popcorn, medley, um, salt, all of the season with a jerk. I'm gonna do the jerk. This this chicken in here. I'm gonna do some jerk. All to go with the peas and rice. Also, I I have a jerk seasoning, hot and spicy here. I have Muskoka peppercorn. Another seasoning, I have President Choice Montego, Montego Bay, Bay jerk seasoning, and I have some fire sriracha fire pepper. Right, so I love jerk. You gotta get it. Gotta be hot, right? So yeah, hot. I'll put a little of every one of those in here. Also, I'm gonna see season some French spring spring lamb, lamb. French. Right, yes. I'm gonna season some spring lamb rib. I have two packs here, so I'm gonna season wash this and season it like how I did this chicken here with those seasoning. And um, I'm gonna do everything in the big boss. This is a big boss, guys. I'm gonna do everything in here little by little as it goes. I'll do the lamb, the chicken. And then the jerk last. Also, to go with the, the peas and rice, I have some Schneider sausage, sausage. here, classic cheddar. cheddar. Cheese All right. So I'm meat. gonna do these sausage also to go Make with sure it on the side. Make sure the barbecue days right. outside in the summer. So let's get started. These are the um, beans I soaked overnight. It's all washed here now. So I'm, kidney beans. it's kidney beans. I'm gonna put this in here. So this I'm gonna put about to go about 15 20 minutes because you know it's a bit hard. Then I'll start adding the rice. I have two cups of rice here. Two cups of rice. I have uh, some uh, purple onion. Purple onion. I have one white onion. I have three weary pepper. And this is Grace Pure Cream Coconut Milk. I'll add this inside also. Also, I'll add some green onions. So it's, it's all gonna be boiled in the peas and rice together. So. And don't forget the salt as well. Yes, also salt I'll add inside. So I'll see you guys then, okay? Okay guys, here I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt in this uh, kidney beans here and I'm gonna get it started right on cover so in 15 20 minutes I'll check it it should be okay I'll start adding the other ingredients in the meanwhile I'm gonna start season the jerk chicken and season the lamb rib so see you guys then Okay, you lovely people out there. I already washed this uh, rib, lamb ribs. So I'm gonna start seasoning it. I'm gonna use some garlic salt. Garlic salt. Use some white pepper. I'm gonna use some peppercorn melody.
paprika. Roasted garlic and peppers. I'm gonna add a little uh, fire barn. Hot, Hot sriracha, sriracha sauce. Give it a little kick, not too much of a kick to kiff, kick you overboard. <laughs> yeah. Add a little bit later. Wow. So the same season I put on that two chicken leg here, I have in the split. So I'm gonna do these this way and I'm gonna jerk this other set here. I'm gonna add some salt to this. No salt on the jerk because jerk seasoning has, its has a lot of salt. salt already, yeah. So okay. that's the that. So So I'm going to massage this in here, spin it, just grab whatever fell in the bowl here, and I'm going to massage it. Massage it in the meat. Next one, just massage everything in the meat here. Scoop up what we have here, massage it, so that's good here. I'm going to leave this here to marinate. I'm going to put this one on, then I'm going to start the jerk. So. I'm gonna put this on the big boss to start because although it, although it's the big boss, it can't eat too much. It can't yeah. take too much. So yeah. You gotta Capacity. Do it little at a time, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna take this off. No, I need this. All right. Yeah. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna add. One small glass of water at the bottom of the big boss. That kind of moisturizes your meat once it's cooked on evenly on all sides. And it's kind of okay for cleaning also. I'm gonna add two glasses, all right? Because when it fat and whatever drop there, it, not kinda, it doesn't kind of burn at the bottom. So that's it, two glasses of this water. I'll put this here, one, two. Let me wash my hands. I'll get the boss to work. Connection here. Okay, so that. Now, this is an additional, it came with this. You know, this is like if you want to roast a whole chicken, and you know, it, it the, the, the yeah. heat in chamber doesn't touch it. So, I like using it, keep it high and nice. Yeah, so I, I set this at 300 and uh, 75 degrees chicken right 375 degrees and i'm gonna get it to start i'm gonna put it for one hour one hour degrees. guys i'm 
I'm gonna keep checking it. And I'm gonna just keep checking it. So let's start in there. Takes it time some time and cook. And I'm going straight to season this uh, jerk here now. So this is a uh, Marker's Wood traditional Jamaican jerk seasoning, hot and spicy. So I'm gonna put one tablespoon. I'm gonna add some of the Muskoka peppercorn sauce and marinade. Stir it up. And use the same jar spoon. It does the same thing. Yeah. Right. It does the same job. So I add about two tablespoons of that. Here I'm gonna add some President's Choice, President Choice, Montego Bay. Memories of Montego Bay, Jerk Marinade. So when you talk about Montego Bay, it's Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah. Asian, right? So, it's good. Again, this is one of the top dishes also in uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Here. And I did the Akean Saltfish, I told you guys, that's their national dish. This is one of the dishes counted a lot over here right but this is ram style today yeah i'm gonna shake this up good mm, smells good yeah so i'm gonna add about two tablespoons of this also all right guys two tablespoons that's it Remember, refrigerate these after you open them. I'm gonna add some of the Fire Barnes Sriracha. I'm gonna taste, give uh, my hands a little taste, see about the salt. I'm probably gonna add some roasted garlic here. But it's all in the dark seasoning, right? And some paprika. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna turn this up here now. Mix it up. Mm, smells good. Oh yeah, it smells phenomenal. Mix it up good and knead it up good. Nice size of chicken legs here. Don't forget, guys, to like this video and uh, subscribe, share, and we got the peas boiling here, guys. Here, here. peas boiling like up in here. Train in here, man. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Peas boiling. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to marinate about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes until those are finished. This is gonna be the last I'm gonna do over there on Big Boss. So I'm gonna wash my hands now. I've already took the sausages, cheese sausages up off the, uh, pit, uh, the pack here this is pre-cooked so this you have, don't have to do a long time all of this is going to be done there so i'm going to leave this here to marinate it's a second this is third everything just smells yes. delicious so guys i'm going to pack up here i'm going to wait for the piece to boil to add these i gotta wash this rice probably wash it one time 
gonna wash this and uh, load up all the ingredients on top to be added. Yep. long green brown rice grease wash it three four times yeah guys you gotta wash it thoroughly one time more is this I'll add a little water leave it here I'll add the ingredients these are all going in together when I add it in yeah the onions, onions the red the white onions the, peppers. the pepper the tree we pepper yeah the green onion onions. these all go together also the grace coconut no pure coconut Cream. Oh, cream, sorry. Cream. cream. I'm gonna add this whole pack in there. Nice and flavorful. The, the big boss started working there, you can see. Evan's gonna show you guys. Big boss is live in action. See the meat oh, cook. Yeah. Big boss. I have to wait for coconut with cream here. So, this is for when the peas is almost done. Not quite done, they got to boil together with those also. So, um, I'll see you guys, I'm gonna clean up. Remember I told you guys about cleaning up whilst, you, uh, whilst you're cooking. So Not when something cooking. is boiling, you know, clean up the kitchen clean and then up. you don't have anything to, to clean, exactly. Right, clean and pop up. So, see you guys then. Guys, I've mixed all of these ingredients up here. Ready for the pot. I also added some white pepper in here some garlic salt and powder and uh, the main guy I'm gonna add here let me dry my hands this is thyme dry thyme mixed with married man right so I'm gonna add some here this is what gives it give the peas and rice its flavor yeah. So what is married man, Dad? What is guy, guy? These people call it mar married man. So what because is because it? it's like the Achaean saltfish. You got a married man with the time, you know, <laughs> together. <laughs> you put them together. Married man yeah. is it's more like you know, it's it's good like for, as it's a season just like time, a leafy season. Yeah. And um, it works very good on fish. Fish also meat you know you can add some you know in your meat you cook up rice you know and it, it all blends together with other seasoning yeah yeah but married man is more uh, you know it, it's more uh, tasty like on, on fish dishes when you use it That's good. so this is all done i'm gonna put this away i'm gonna keep this salt so you see guys it's all clear nothing to do everything is packed up everything is arranged big boss right. is still going there it's the big boss i'm gonna turn it i'm gonna give it 35 minutes it should be done where's my uh, this let's get it nice and brown there and turn it the other side 
See the water at the bottom keeps it uh, moist, right? I'm gonna reduce the heat a little, give it. I'm gonna go. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go. Uh, 350 and that's for the chicken right dad yes okay because i want it to cook thoroughly thoroughly right? yeah so this is good there you can see the drippings there the fat from the meat there it's gonna be lean yeah, and green down there is the done. drippings the fat of the meat is dripping down that's what's circling at the bottom guys so it's a good tool like a good machine to have when you're yeah, it works great it works great okay it's cooking here you know what i'm gonna put these in the fridge refrigerator a little you know when it's when it's chilly and cold it absorbs the seasoning better you know yeah when i'm ready i'll take them out yeah I'll just leave the sausage here because that's yeah. what cooked. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Let me see how the. Uh... Wow, guys, look at the heavy wind we have outside. Let's see, as you can see, we got some heavy wind right yeah. now in Shelburne. Okay. Peas has another 10 minutes or so. Yep, 10 minutes to... Remember this? The red peas is... Uh, it's very uh, sturdy, so... You get, and fresh, it's a fresh one. So you gotta turn it, you know, soak it overnight and... Boil it before the rice and other ingredients and then meet them together so um nothing more to do as yet but just wait and cook so um i'll see you guys stick around when we are ready to add ingredients okay my friends the piece is done here now i'm gonna add the rice in well it smells delicious with all the rest of the ingredients Here, you know, yeah, this is a rice it cooker, keeps, it keeps the uh peas and rice very loose, very loose, guys. Get everything out here. Okay, and um. some water how now much remember, water is that your, your water has to be at least two inches above the rice okay two whatever in ingredients you have inside gotta be at least two inches I'm gonna stir it up keep everything uh, mixed Peas on top, coconut cream, red and uh, purple onion, green onion, some chives, married man and thyme, dried. I like using the dried ones. The fresh one is good, don't get me wrong, but um, for the thyme, the dry one to me, it's, it's stronger. Add a little more water for it to be above. And 
And you're gonna get the salt to taste, put some salt to taste. I'm gonna add a little more salt for now, and um, about the teaspoon of salt for now, and uh, we'll taste after. I'm gonna cover it, and let the cooker do its work. I'm gonna wash up, and uh, see you guys then. Okay, my friends, this, Two legs I, I seasoned yesterday. It's almost it's almost done. It it I put it it uh, it's 35 minutes exactly. I'll give it another two three minutes and I'll take it out and I'll put in the. I said I'll put the lamb before the jerk, but uh, the jerk has more demand than the lamb. So <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna yeah. put the jerk and then the yeah. lamb after. Okay, and. Uh, this is the big boss. It's an oil-less fryer. I seen on right? TV. Great, great fried taste without the frying. Okay, cool. Right? Less fat, less grease, less cholesterol, less calories. So it is what it is. And these are the things you can cook with it: onion rings, fries, and fried chicken, and all the else things you can cook with it. It's a pretty good okay, machine. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out here now. All right, Dad. And I'm gonna put. Gotta be careful when you think that because it can be hot. So it is, and you gotta lean it down. Lean like, it down like that. Yeah. Here we go. That's so one chicken. crisp and loose. Here you go. So this is done here. Wow. Chicken, all cooked, crisp, moist, all moist. Stay tuned, guys, for the taste all test. All moist. That's pretty good. I'm gonna taste after. After. So I'll leave this on the table here. And I'm gonna add the jerk now. That's the jerk that I, my dad put in the refrigerator. Marinated now. Wow. I'm gonna add this here now. Remember the water at the bottom keeps it moist. Very moist guys. You wanna be at your best when you travel, even if you have a chronic condition. Add these on top so that it paves it way in whilst it cooks. There is sauce, jerk sauce. Ooh, nearly got one there, boy. Yeah, it's hot, very so hot. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna cover this. How many minutes do you need to put the jerk chicken for that? About 30 minutes this should be okay because okay, yeah. um, small legs. Small legs, yeah exactly. So 30 so I'm, minutes. I'm at uh, 20, okay. When it stops I'll reallocate the other 10 minutes. Okay. That's it. Jerk is on its way to being cooked. I need to. Yep. Here we go. I'm wash up again. Wash up. See you guys after. Okay, my friends. I'm gonna check on the peas and rice now. Give it a little turn. It's bubbling its way through. As you can see. I'll give it a bit taste. See if it needs some more salt or not. Smells good. Oh yeah. Smells like peas and rice. Okay, let me see the salt. Perfect. Doesn't need more salt, so I'm gonna put away the salt. And I'm gonna leave it to run its course. Run its course. Until it's done. So yeah. see you guys. Okay my friends, lovely people out there. This jerk is 
done. I'm gonna take it out. Just took 20 minutes. You know, depends on the the size and the thickness wow. of the meat. So let's take it time. These are small legs. So I'm gonna place it right at the side of this season one I did earlier. I, I, I cut up the other big legs, the season one. I'm just gonna put this at the side here. And uh, I'm gonna do the sausage, you know. This, remember, this is pre cooked. It's already cooked. You just need a bit of, you know. How long does the sausage need to cook for that? Yeah, you gotta look at this because it's pre cooked, right? Pre cooked, yeah. It's cooked already. So you just need the, you know. Five and five and the other thing. So I'm not gonna put this too high. I'm just gonna put this at 250 degrees. 250 degrees, yeah, okay. Fahrenheit because it's pre-cooked already. It's just some of the flavors you need to get and uh, cook it a little more. And I'm gonna put it 20 minutes, all should be done before then. There you go. I'm gonna get a plate for that. And um, I'll see you guys when that's done. So my dear friends, the peas and rice is done. The pot is in cool down. It's so easy. You just put everything together yeah and you press start and you forget about it until it's done that's all so it's it's cooling down now and that's it when it cools down it's gonna be nice and loose ready to eat so i'm working on the sausage there and um then i have another set of sausage and i'll work on the lamb so see you guys then okay my dear friends one set of the sausage is finished. I'm gonna give it a couple of slices. Nice and And I saw you slices. I saw you got some beautiful sauces there. Yes, I'm gonna add some um, when bullseye. I finish here. No, no, the bullseye is for the lamb. This is for the lamb. Okay. I'm gonna add some Diane, Diana rib and chicken sauce. And uh, some fireball sriracha. sriracha on it so give it a, Get give a little boost. boost yeah so. make sure guys if you're new to ram's kitchen just hit that subscribe button and like it and share it to your friends and family let they see all the different kind of recipes we make every week now and then this is all this is the last one there are five more in there and it's the same thing I'm gonna do to those when I am when they're done. I'm gonna Okay, so I'm gonna give them a little bath now. <laughs> you know, a little. give them a little bath, it's the Diana sauce, you know. Mm, it smells so delicious. The sriracha. I'm gonna rub it up now. Let it fix it. Within the sauce, so that's one set finish. When I finish the other set, I'm gonna carry out the same process and see you guys there, my friends. 
This is all done here now. I'm gonna now, the peas and rice is done. Sausage is done. The two different types of chicken is done. The jerk and the regular seasoning. Now, I'm gonna put the spring lamb. Yeah, last but not least. In the big boss, that's last. And um, we'll go from there. So one, two. Always remember, you add a bit of water at the bottom, it keeps your uh, meat very moist. Oh yeah, very moist. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and set it. Okay, this, I'll put it very slow. I'll put it at uh, about 310 degrees. Okay. And I'll put it for uh, 40 minutes. Okay, yeah, 40 minutes. And look at it. So there you go. The lamb is the last thing there. So I'm gonna wash up, my dear friends, I'm gonna wash up and get things prepared. For taste test? For taste test. So I'll see you guys. See you guys. Okay, my friends. The lamb rack is finished. I'm gonna give it a little sauce. I have here bullseye barbecue sauce. Guinness. And it's seasoned with a Guinness, Guinness draft beer. What is it? Yeah, Guinness draft beer blend. So I'm gonna mix this. Put it aside here. To give it some more kicks to it exactly flavor. i'm gonna add some sriracha on it fire hot sauce i'm gonna blend this together mix it together with a good combination and i'm gonna rub it see i mark i mark between the ribs there yeah so the sauce can be all inside you know yeah a nice taste Same thing over here. On the side. Okay. That's the that there. I'm I'm finished with the boss. Wow, if you, you see notice there at the bottom, the you see oil. the water is at the bottom, the all of this, the oil and the, you know, it absorbs. Out. Oil is lighter, so it's at the top. Yeah. So right now I disconnected the boss. I'm gonna allow it to cool off. Then I'm gonna give it a shower and get it ready for the next time. Okay. Right? So um, I'm gonna set up the taste time and um, I'm gonna get back to you guys. Okay friends, it's time to sample now. So I'm gonna take a piece of this lamb rack here. I have my peas and rice there. I'll take a barbecue chicken leg and I'm gonna try a piece of the other one. Um, Probably try this one here. So, so lamb rack and uh, this chicken seasoned with the same seasoning. This is a uh, jerk with the rice. And, um, Want some to drink? 
Yeah. Yeah. Cream soda. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some cream soda. I'm gonna take a glass of red wine with it. Let her refill this. Almost done. I like red wine. It's good, good for the heart, good for the body. Okay, I'm gonna just take one piece of sausage. I just want to taste the sauce I put on it. Okay, let me just break it and put the rest back. Okay, there you go. Okay, so. I'm gonna try a little piece of everything together. So here I'm gonna take a piece of sausage. Kev, you 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 gonna try your sausage alone, eh? You're yeah. a sausage guy. Yeah, I'm gonna try my sausage here, guys. I'm gonna take a piece of lamb, nice and soft, off the bone. I'm gonna take a piece of jerk. Up there. I'm gonna take a piece of the other chicken. Other flavored chicken. Okay, there I'll wait go. for you dad so we can both take uh, a cheers. Cheers, yeah. Yeah, I need a bigger spoon. Let's See how juicy small. the sausage is guys? How juicy and tender and you know, all of it cooked. The cheese, you can see the yellowness, the cheesiness of the sausage is so amazing. And I got some cream soda to okay. go with it. I had to get a bigger spoon because it's a bit a lot there. So the rice, the chicken, the sausage, and everything. Everything here. Okay. I'm here. Just cheers. Okay, cheers, Kev. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. A combination. A combination of the sausage. Of flavors, flavors and taste. Exactly. And I said the cheese the and jerk the sausage. Combined with these two flavors. Mm -hmm. So good with the so sausage. Sausage. And the peas and rice. Mmm. So delicious. So tasty. So delicious. Yeah. So encouraging to eat. Exactly. What more so, it is on a Saturday winter day to enjoy a meal so special like this from Ram's so Kitchen. Good. Okay, cheers, Kev. Oh, here. Thanks to my dad for making another successful meal. You know, I'm so grateful. You know. <sighs> okay, guys. And girls out there, nice people out there. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, thank you so much for your comments, encouraging me to do more. And um, I will progress in that as the time goes by. So long for now. And um, have a great weekend. Be safe with you and your family. Bye-bye.